So, let's take a break from all this gold ridiculousness. Let's talk about a different version of what, 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 what? Wait, what? Windows 7 gold, what? I've never heard of, what is this Windows 7 gold? Well, here we go again. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, Windows 7 Gold also exists as well. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at Windows 7 Gold. Enjoy. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, here we go again! Yeah, we're just gonna bump that up to four gigs. We're gonna put this up to, I guess we'll just do five for now. We're gonna run the operating system. And I've been getting a couple of questions. What the fuck? There we go. Now you, you, some of you might be wondering, oh, why are you, why are you using VirtualBox instead? Oh, whoa, whoa, what, what? <laughs> what? Oh, okay, this is new. But anyway, what I, as I was saying before, you might be wondering, why are you using VirtualBox instead of VMware or QEMU? Well. It's just problem. I tried installing this onto VMware. It's just that I need the certain kernel modules because remember, I'm I use Arch Linux, so I need the Zen kernels, and I gotta install those. QEMU, like I said, I will definitely give it a shot. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do Gold Edition X64. Let me guess, is it gonna bypass the product key? I like this background here with the eye. But yeah, no, as you can see, it's gold. First Windows XP gets the gold treatment and now Windows 7 gets the gold treatment. Next thing you know, there's gonna be a Windows 10 gold or something like that. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna reset this and hopefully we'll see some Windows 7 gold action. Oh, that sounded wrong. I oh, look at that. I got, I got the cursor. Guys, look, I got the gold cursor. Oh my God. No, it's just, it's just so bizarre now. It's so easy to make like your own version of like Windows XP or Windows 7. <laughs> I'm just imagining the possibilities with it. Windows 7 Barney the Dinosaur Edition. Oh, whoa. Is that a Pokemon? That's a Pokemon, isn't it? Windows 7 Gold Edition. Uh, computer name, we'll do Bulls. I just noticed in the background too. I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can see there's actual like gold diamonds. Here we go. Welcome to window. I like the gold circle loading thing. I like the music. Actual custom music. Yeah, this is. I hope it's not copyrighted. <laughs> This is literally the same thing as XP Gold. Like, it literally lets you choose. Okay, let's move this obnoxious clock. Yep, this is literally almost the exact same thing as XP Gold. Yeah, no, this is literally the same as XP Gold. Why do I have two clocks? <laughs> I, got, I, got, I literally have two clocks here. But anyway, yeah, no, this is... Windows 7 Gold, ladies and gentlemen. It's basically XP Gold, but it's Windows 7. All right, you know what? Yeah, let's just do that for right now. Just, just so I can at least, just so at least you guys can see. Of course, you got Firefox. You got Team Viewer 8, which uh, Ultra ISO Premium, of course. There's two copies of it. You got DVD Make. Yeah, the, the, your standard Windows 7 stuff. Yeah, but obviously you also got. 7-zip. Why is WinRAR still here? You got 7-zip. They made them. They made the same mistake twice. A uh, VLC media player. No, I'm not sending you my information. Thank you very much. 2.1.2. How about CCleaner? Version 3.22. Oh, how long ago was that? Yeah, 2012. <laughs> of course, you got Power ISO. Wait, doesn't this also have Ultra ISO? Yeah, you got Ultra ISO Premium, but that does the same thing. Why? There's like duplicate softwares. So while we're in Firefox, let's test out, like let's go to YouTube, for example. Let's see what we get. Please update your browser. There we go. Nice. So we actually have a modern version of Firefox on here. Uh, let's just look at let's just look at my channel, I guess. But yeah, no, as you can see, it 
works. Let's put it up to 1080p and let's full screen it. I mean, obviously it's gonna lag when I'm in full screen, but, but I mean, still it's actually, cause it's, cause I'm on a virtual machine, but still, if I wasn't doing this in a virtual machine, this is actually pretty good. But anyway, yeah, that's Firefox. So we got TeamViewer 8, which allows you to remotely connect to other people's computers. I remember this software more for the scams that these scammers do on people. They use TeamViewer and they connect to your computer. It, it is so screwed up. See like all of these scam baiter videos on YouTube. That's, that's a lot of the time how these scammers connect to people's computers. Oh God, let's see if Media Center is any different. Because the video card does not... What, this is a virtual... Oh, uh, that's probably what... Oh, there we go. I haven't used Media Center in over a decade. I think even when I got Windows 7, I only used it like once, and that was when I first got it. <laughs> Here we go. Live TV. I remember when live TV was a thing. You could hook up a, a TV tuner card. And you could actually watch TV on your computer. Or at the very least, you know, you could hook up your game console to your card and then you could watch what you're playing on here. But, you yeah, know, that was actually a cool feature back then. But now, it's pointless. <laughs> it is absolutely pointless. Yeah, and if you wanted to, you could also install a radio tuner too. But it's radio. It's basically kind of pointless when, <laughs> when you got your phone now. Windows DVD Maker. Wow, a lot of these actually need like a decent graphics card. Is this like, a, just like, is this just like a media player? I think it's just like a media player. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's basically just a media player. If you if you wanna watch MKV files, for example, just, just use MPV player or VLC. Those are way better options. Of course you got your solitaire, which doesn't work. Unlike the control panel from XP Gold, this actually looks pretty standard. I mean, you still got your, your update, you got your Windows Defender, you know, back when it was useless. And of course you got Windows Update. Oh yeah, and they did that here too, where they added like the custom, like the border here. Can we change this picture? That's just, I'm sure, I'm see if I can find anything that I think is, okay, here we go. Yeah, we need the Pomeranian. The Pomeranian, the Pomeranian puppy here. This is literally like the same as XP Gold, except it's Windows 7. So again, would I recommend using this as a daily driver? No, <laughs> but yeah, if you wanted to use this in like a virtual machine or a computer that doesn't have personal information in it, then whatever. <laughs> But what I, again, what I use as a, as a daily driver? No. Yeah, guys, that's gonna be about it for this video. So if you liked the video, you know, you know, make sure you give it a like. If you dislike the video, give it a dislike, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna see more content coming in the future. Until next time, guys, peace.